What we're seeing, I'm convinced, is the tip of the iceberg. The tip of the iceberg. The biggest published series of myocarditis before the pandemic, across decades and decades of accumulating data, was 500 cases. In my practice before the pandemic, I had only seen two cases of myocarditis, and one of them was fatal. Now there are papers, Lane et al. in the British Medical Journal Open, 18,000 cases in a single manuscript. Uh, the reason you haven't heard most of the things that you've heard today is because the media is in collusion with whatever the powers that be in preventing you from getting that information. All right, next question then. So in July, uh, Undersecretary Cisneros acknowledged the DMET data, the database working properly, and also acknowledged things such as myocarditis rising 151%. The multi-hit hypothesis of oncogenesis after COVID-19 vaccination. What does that mean? It means the COVID-19 vaccines, largely messenger RNA vaccines, the messenger RNA itself can impair DNA repair. So it can actually begin to tip the scale towards cancer promotion in cells. Turbo cancer is a, a new kind of slang term that people are using around the world. A colleague of mine in Sweden uh, coined the term in one of her papers. And what she was seeing as a, a breast pathologist that sees a lot of breast cancer over her many years of practice, she noticed young women developing cancer after the rollout of the injections. Avec les fenêtres ouvertes, 
Pensons aux aînés abandonnés dans leur déjection Pensons aux femmes qui n'auront pas d'enfants Pensons aux jeunes frappés de myocardite Pensons aux turbos 